Section 10.2 is about how cells divide. A lot of this stuff you saw in class, the different terminology, but I just want to go over it one more time. Chromosomes are the chunks of genetic information that contain the genetic information that's passed from one generation to the next. The important thing is before a cell divides, that that genetic information, that DNA, get copied so that each daughter cell has a copy of that genetic information. Each organism has a specific number of chromosomes, whether it's bacterial cells only have one chromosome, humans have 23 pairs or 46 total chromosomes. There's everywhere in between. Prokaryotes, like bacteria, remember they don't have a nucleus. Prokaryotes have no nucleus. Their DNA molecules are just found kind of floating around in the cytoplasm. Like I said before, most prokaryotes only have one chromosome that contains most of the cell's genetic information. Eukaryotes have more than one chromosome. They're found in the nucleus, and they're made up of what we call chromatin. Chromatin has DNA wound around proteins called histone proteins. That complex is called a nucleosome. The DNA that's wound around these proteins is called a nucleosome. Then you saw my rubber band today, how I twisted it around. There's coiling and supercoiling till we get to the full structure of the chromosome made up of two sister chromatids. The prokaryotic cell cycle is growth, DNA replication, and cell division. Usually a certain size limitation triggers the prokaryotic cell to copy its DNA. And then once that's happened, division of prokaryotic cells is called binary fission. Fission is just dividing, and binary means two, so it's dividing into two, literally. These are genetically identical cells, and over here you can see a diagram of what happens. Eukaryotic cell cycle is a little bit more complicated. There are four phases, G1, S, G2, and M. Interphase is the time between cell divisions, and that is made up of the three G1, S, and G2 phases. So that's all part of interphase. What you see here, over here, all of this is interphase. That includes G1, S, and G2. And then the M phase is the period of cell division. So that's right here. So relatively speaking, it's a pretty small part of the cell cycle when the cell is actually dividing. You need to know what goes on, the main things that go on in each of these phases. G1 st stands for growth. Cells increase in size, make new proteins and organelles. The S phase stands for synthesis. New DNA molecule is made. The chromosomes are replicated. G2, I like to remember this by saying getting ready. G2 is getting ready, preparing for cell division. Many of the organelles and molecules required for cell division are produced. And then the M phase. 
is when the cell actually divides. Like I said, it's a very short period of time with respect to the entire cell cycle. There's two parts to the M phase. There's mitosis and there's cytokinesis. Mitosis is division of the nucleus and cytokinesis is division of the cytoplasm. Here's some information you need to know. Went over this a little bit today. Chromatid is each strand of a duplicated chromosome. They're identical to one another. Centromere is the area where the chromatids are joined. Centrioles are part of animal cells. They help organize the spindle. Well, what's the spindle? Microtubule structure that helps separate the chromatids. So the first step of mitosis is prophase. The chromosomes condense and become visible. They're duplicated at this point because we're past S phase. The centrioles move to the opposite sides of the nucleus and organize the spindle. And then the spindle attaches to the DNA strands at their centromere. Nucleolus disappears nuclear envelope breaks down as you saw in the Tudor tube. Metaphase. So keywords, let me go back here. Keywords I want you to remember. For pro prophase, prepare. So we're getting ready to divide that nucleus. Metaphase. Middle. Because the centromeres of the duplicated chromosomes line up across the center or the middle of the cell. Spindle fibers connect the centromere of each chromosome to the spindle. Anaphase. Away. Or apart. Those sister chromatids are separated. The centromeres are pulled apart, chromatids become separated, and they are, then are they are considered individual chromosomes. They separate into two groups near the poles of the spindle, so opposite ends of the cell. Telophase 2 as in two nuclei. Chromosomes spread out, decondense, nuclear envelope reforms, spindle breaks apart, nucleolus comes back. It's basically the opposite processes of prophase. Cytokinesis then happens, the division of the cytoplasm. You have different ways that happens, whether it's an animal cell or a plant cell. In animal cells, the cell membrane just pinches together until the cytoplasm is in two equal parts. And then each part has its own nucleus and organelles. In plant cells, we have the cell wall to think about new cell wall needs to form between the nuclei and this is called a cell plate. Then a, and then that develops into cell membranes, a cell wall forms in between the new membranes. Here's the cell cycle in a little bit different picture this isn't in terms of time, but what's happening. So remember that interphase is the vast majority of the cell cycle, the G1, the S, and the G2. So we have growth and then synthesis of DNA and then getting ready for division. Then we have prophase. Chromatin is condensing. Centrioles are separating. Spindle forms nuclear envelope and nucleolus breaks down. Preparation. Prepare. 
and we have metaphase, middle. Chromosomes line up at the center of the cell, and the spindle fibers connect to the centromeres. Next is anaphase, away or apart. The sister chromatids are pulled apart from one another into individual chromosomes, and they move to opposite ends of the cell. Telophase, two. Two nuclei. The chromosomes gather at opposite ends. Two new nuclear envelopes will form. The nucleolus will come back. The spindle breaks down. Opposite of what happened in prophase. And finally, cytokinesis. In animal cells, the cytoplasm pinches in. In, in plant cells, the cell plate forms. The cytoplasm is divided into two.